Praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We are looking at the book of Psalm 95. We read verse number 4 to 6. The Bible says, In his hand are the depths of the earth, and the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. Once again, right from verse number one, the psalmist reminds us that we are called to sing for joy, shout to the rock of our salvation, come before him with thanksgiving. And as we do this, God wants us to know who he is. One, we say it, that he is the great God. And secondly, he is the great king above all gods. This God is such a strong and a powerful God. He is in charge of the depth of the earth. He is in charge of the mountain peaks. They belong to him. Another lesson we learn in verse number five is that even the sea is his. You know, when we mention the sea, we are reminded of that vast water that we cannot see the beginning and the end. And so the Bible says that the sea is his and he is the one who made it. Verse 5 says, the sea is his for he made it. Being reminded that even that vast waters the lord is in charge he made it and his hand formed the dry land the reminder here is that we must allow our hearts our minds our attitudes to acknowledge that god is god he is in charge there are times we go through situations that look like the sea, too wide, deep, big. You know, you cannot tell the beginning or the end and you wonder, how am I going to make it? How will I get out of this? And whatever you are facing looks like, uh, you know, the sea, the deep seas. The Lord is reminding us that even the sea is his. So nothing is too hard for the Lord. He is in charge. And the dry land belongs to him. When we know all this, verse number six, this is an invitation. When we know who this God is, we are told, come, let us bow down in worship. There is nothing we can give this God who is so powerful in charge of the depth and the peaks, in charge of the sea and the dry land. We can only bow in worship. Acknowledging God. And secondly, let us kneel before the Lord our maker. We bow in worship and we also kneel before the Lord our maker. In other words here, it's a reminder that we, 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 we are being called to acknowledge who God is and our level of acknowledging who he is is in a way that we have to bow. We have to kneel before him. And he is not just another being, he is the Lord, our maker. Praise the Lord. And if this is our maker, it's a reminder that it is not in vain to surrender to God. You know, when we talk about come, let us bow in worship, come, let us kneel before him. This is total surrender. We are not just surrendering to another being. We are surrendering to the Lord, our maker. You and I, we belong to God. And this God is such a powerful God. And as we said from the beginning, he is a self-introducing God. 
who is always happy to let us know who he is. And so when we acknowledge him, when we get to understand who he is, we can only come bow before him in worship and we kneel before him as we surrender to God. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord bless you. Shalom.